Greetings, greetings, and welcome to R. Kelly Appeal TV, where we discuss the topics that relate to the appeal process of Robert Sylvester Kelly. Good morning, Grand Rising, to those that are up and ready to get their day started. And for those that are going to be coming on a little bit later to check uh, the video, welcome and greetings to you. So we're going to be talking about the appeal process of Robert Sylvester Kelly in the Brooklyn and federal um, Chicago trial that is going on August 15th. There's a motion that was filed um, relevant to jury uh, protection and some more other motions that were filed. I tried to put everything all in one so we can get it out the way and keep all this information organized. You're now listening to the August podcast because it's all about us in August here at R. Kelly Appeal TV. So today I want to let you know that we will be on tonight at 6 p.m. We're going to be discussing the motion to begin the pretrial and the jury protection information. What prosecution is requesting and so much more. We are merely keeping an eye on the information so we'll know what's going on. So thank you again for being here and hope to see you tonight. Today I want to share when a woman loves. When a woman loves, she must first be a woman and not a little girl. She must set those boundaries. When a woman loves, she must be able to allow her man to talk to her and she must be without judgment. That's very difficult. We have to learn how to do that. That's something that's not just a part of our DNA. We have to learn it. We have to see it. We have to experience it to know how to do it. When a woman loves, she must know when abuse begins, when a loud talking, when the over talking, when the disrespect comes, when the shutting down of your ideas and your concepts, you must know that that is verbal abuse. And verbal abuse can turn into many, many, many different things. You must know when you're emotional and, you know, your man tries to, uh, the difference between when your man tries to soothe you and empower you versus when they try to soothe you and weaken you for the benefit of the future, you know, come up. That is something we need to be aware of. When a woman loves, she must know when abuse begins so she can get the hell out of there and not become a victim. Because see, in my terminology, you are only a victim the first time something occurs. When something happens for the first time without your consent or someone takes over control of your person without your consent. After that, it's trauma bond. And it is a act of habit at this point. It's no longer being a victim. So when a woman loves, she must research how not to be a victim and how to use her wisdom to know when to walk away regardless who's paying the bills, who has the kids, Who's threatening to take the kids? Who's financially more stable than the other? Who's emotionally more, you know, committed because their name is on the house note? You know, she got to be able to walk away from all that and then find power within herself to do what she needs to do to work on herself. When a woman loves. Now, when a girl loves, that's different. She don't know no better. And until she becomes a woman, she can't learn anything that is going to be efficient and sufficient for her to protect her person. You are responsible for protecting your person. Okay? When a woman loves, regardless who will take the kids and all the other threats and who will do what, that can be worked on at a later date. Get out of there before it gets critical because when a woman loves and stays there, it's absolutely no respect 
when you're staying there in an abusive relationship because you're only a victim one time. One time, you're only a victim with the same situation. So please be mindful that victimology is a term used when something immediately happens and then a person immediately reports it. They're a victim. When it is not reported, they're a trauma bond. They're not a victim until it has been reported by someone else to determine that yes, that person overstepped boundaries or that very one time that it has happened, you recognize that you're a victim. So what are you gonna do with that? Stay a victim or are you gonna try to empower yourself to research your next moves? And the only time it gets ultimately critical is when we continue to play with that fire. Men, you will definitely know the difference between when a woman loves and what she will do to put up with the relationship trauma from you. And that's when you should be man enough to help her get the help she needs to build that self-worth again. Because see, you may not even know that what you're doing is abusive until you didn't got into the, to the habit of it. But you know what good is and you know what bad is, so there is no excuse. So many of us, both male or female, has not had the opportunity to be raised with a man and a woman in a healthy relationship, friendship first, that grows to a relationship. So we need to research that instead of, you know, sitting back, you know, yes, we have our, we have to work on ourselves as well as we're working on the knowledge of what's going to happen to Robert Sylvester Kelly in this situation, because he's working on himself, hopefully. He's working on the fact that he had no father, so he had to make the streets his father. So the men in which was a part of their lives on an everyday basis was what he recognized as a man. What That was the relationship. It was a trauma building bond. So we have to learn to do more than that, than just trauma bond. And be out of control with our emotions, having sex out of the, out of the wilderness, but bringing it home to confidently being able to be in a healthy relationship that's mentally uh, capable for both parties. And this is just what I want to leave with you today. I thank you so much for being here and I hope this helps. And if it does, please put a comment, a nice little comment in the box below. And I will see you tonight on the pre-recorded video of the pre-trial and it will be in the link on this video, as well as if you hit the subscription bell or the like, it will come up when it when it's uploaded. I think it's already uploaded. So thank you. You have a wonderful, wonderful um, Thursday. And just know that this is Jupiter's energy. This is expansion. This is awareness. This is consciousness. This is global international you know healing within ourselves all over the world because we make our destiny what it is and that's what will help us get through any situation so um i'm gonna get on off of here i want you to listen to the song when a when a woman loves when a woman loves by r kelly that is what's in my mind today so God bless you. You have a wonderful day and I will see you tonight, 6 p.m. Peace and blessings. And as always, keep it 100.